Hello everyone, this is Andres Almirar live at the Night Hacking Stage here at the Hacker Garden Space at DevOps Belgium 2016. Uh, with me I have Trisha G, uh, fellow Java champion. Uh, Trisha, Hello. thank you for being here. Whoa. <laughs> Sorry, that's very loud. Yeah, a bit. <laughs> Yes, of course, I can turn it a little bit down, yes. I, I feel a bit like I was the voice of God. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are the goddess of the IDE. I am. Good, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, Trisha, what do you do on your daily work? Um, that's an excellent question. Uh, what do I do? I, I do a lot of variety of things, but uh, as, a, as a developer advocate, is that meant to be? It's going up and down. As a, as a developer advocate, I kind of mix in, um, I do a lot of presenting, obviously, at conferences. I do a bunch of, of writing, not just blog posts, but also um, I write a bunch of the very technical tutorials for IntelliJ. So things like, um, not just, oh, how do I use this feature, but like, when would I want to refactor to Java 8, for example, as like a tutorial in the IntelliJ docs for that sort of thing. Um, and I also do, but in order to do that usefully, I have to carry on doing code as well. So I have to do development. I do development on some open source stuff. And I also do a bunch of like trying to create um, proper working sample applications that are like real world stuff. So developers can kind of get their head around stuff, how stuff really works. Awesome, that, that sounds pretty good. Uh, so uh, as a Java champion, what do you do with, with the community? Is how, what's your involvement with the community overall? So the good thing is that my job means I do a lot of outward facing stuff anyway. Um, I kind of see, I, I work for JetBrains because I really like IntelliJ um, as an IDE. Um, and I kind of like the fact that I can help developers kind of upskill themselves. So it's kind of one of the reasons why I do this job and one of the reasons why I think I ended up being a Java champion. Because my point is to kind of try and talk to real developers, find out what they do, and help them be more productive and do their job um, in a more productive way. But that's kind of part of my day job. In terms of the wider community, uh, I'm a, uh, a founder of the Seville Jug in Seville, Spain. Um, we haven't done so much of that recently this year because um, we had a baby and that tends to put a bit of a, a crimp on your social life, it turns out. Who knew? Um, yeah, so, exactly. we've <laughs> so we've done some more stuff, like I'm still trying to be involved in the virtual jug because that's a little bit easier to do from home. Um, and there's, uh, I still get involved with the London Java community as well because it's a very large community and they have, um, it's easier to see from a large community what developers are doing, what trends are interesting to them, what things are difficult for them, and to be involved in, in such a diverse community as well. Right, and, and that's a nice segue because I was about to ask you, about your involvement in the virtual joke, and also, I correct me if I'm wrong, but you're also a member of the Java Council. Yes, I am a member of the Java Council. Thank you for asking, <laughs> <laughs> and you will see us on stage with the closing keynote later on. Um, yeah, so the the virtual jug. Um, the virtual jug is great for me because I work remotely, so I can do a bunch of presenting through the virtual jug. The virtual jug is good for us in Seville as well because we are not London or New York or somewhere like that. So I can point the the jug to um, our local jug to material on the virtual jug, so they can see like top class speakers talking about um, features or or um, language stuff or whatever without. Um, like us having to fly them all the way to Seville. So for us in a non-hub city, the virtual jug is like super useful for me as a speaker and for us as a community. Um, and then Simon kind of roped me into being on the Java Council, so we do a podcast every month, every month. But since me, Simon, and Martin all had babies in the last like two years, um, it's kind of an ad hoc schedule how that sort of I happens. See. Um, but that's cool because we get a chance to kind of catch up and talk about news and talk about like what's happening in the, in the wider community and also invite guests on and find out what they're what they're up to as well. Awesome. Well, this current uh, fine but this sounds to me a little bit like a call to arms for those Java user groups that are out there that sometimes feel a little bit in trouble to get speakers to get uh, to generate some kind of events. So this come to, to just get close to the virtual Java user group. And uh, I know for a fact there are two brand new Java user groups in Colombia, my, my home country. They just got in the start the last month. And uh, I'm pretty sure they are hungry for content. And sounds like a virtual joke, it will be a nice place to start. It's cool. I mean, we ran um, Simon Ritter's Java 8 talk um, 
we showed the video from the V-Jug in the real life jug. So we all got together physically and, and had a drink and stuff. Um, and then we could discuss things like the Java 8 features and kind of what we liked or what we didn't like or what was confusing to us. And you don't necessarily have to have an expert speaker on site to have a conversation about something. Um, and so the virtual jug is quite cool for that. And then if you do have questions, you can of course always ping these people over Twitter. So you don't necessarily have to have an expert in the room talking about things. The other thing that Java user groups are really good for and again, doesn't rely on having some sort of expert international speaker, is kind of sharing stories about your job, your career path in the city, like uh, recruitment maybe. It depends a bit. I mean, I, I come from the, the London scene, which is very recruitment driven. We switch jobs like every year, every two years. And one of the reasons we network is to find out who's hiring, like which jobs are kind of cool, which companies are good to work for. But the Jug is quite a good place to do that as well, sort of find out who's doing cool stuff and where. So if you are looking to, um, to improve your situation, uh, then turning up to a user group is good for that sort of thing. All right. Well, thank you very much, Trish, for, the, for these uh, insightful comments. And uh, for everybody else watching, well, watch you later. <laughs>